Hello dear viewers, you are welcome to Physics with Feroz Shah. In today's lecture, we are exploring dimensions. A small video about dimensions, the last topic of chapter number 1st, first, first year physics measurement, first chapter. And today is the fourth and last lecture of chapter number 1. Dimensions means what? What is dimension? Dimension is the splitting Dimension is the splitting of a derived quantity of a derived quantity into base quantities. Dimension जो है ये derived quantity का base quantities में splitting को कहते हैं. When we split a derived quantity into base quantities, the process, the fact is called dimensions. Everyone knows that each and every derived quantity is obtained by multiplying or dividing two or more base quantities. So if we multiply or divide different base quantities to get new quantity, it is called derivation. And the quantity obtained is called derived quantity. But the reverse process when we split the derived quantity again into the constituent base quantities, the reverse process is called dimension. Dimensions possess several rules. Some rules of dimensions are the first rule. The first rule denoted by dimensions denoted by square bracket. We denote dimensions by square bracket. What it means? The first rule means that if you want to find the dimension of force then you have to put force in square brackets means that if it is f f mean force but if we put f in square brackets it means that dimensions of force dimensions of force similarly when we put v in square brackets it represents the dimension of speed dimension of velocity and so on and so on it is rule number one rule number two rule number two of dimension is the second rule of dimension is right equation of given quantity the quantity for which you want to find dimension the quantity for which you want to find dimension, you have to write the equation of that quantity. Equa for example, you want to find the dimensions of force. If you want to find the dimensions of force, dear students and dear viewers, so we have to write the equation of force. If you, we want to find the dimension of force, then we can use F is equal to MA, F is equal to del P by T, F is equal to Torque divided by moment arm, F is equal to G M1 M2 by R square, F is equal to K Q1 Q2 by R square. Any one of these equations can be used to find the dimension of force. Similarly, we can find the dimension of any quantity by any of its equation. The first rule is we have to denote the dimension by square brackets. The second rule is we have to write the equation of the quantity of which we want to find dimensions and the third rule the third rule is convert all the quantities convert all the quantities on right side into units after you write the equation of the, of the corresponding quantity for which you want to find dimensions so in that equation convert the right side quantities into their units units conversion and the rule number five rule number five of dimension is rule number five four rule number four for dimension dear students that is that convert convert all units into base units all units base units conversion is necessary you have to convert all the units on right side to base corresponding to a respective base units and the last one the fifth rule the second last rule replace each base unit replace each base unit by corresponding symbol corresponding base symbol 
you have to replace each base unit by corresponding base symbol that is kilogram will be replaced by capital m represent mass a second represent time and will be replaced by capital time t and kilogram second and meter will replaced by will be replaced by l and so on similarly ampere a will be replaced by a and so on and so on the last rule the last rule dear students dimensions last rule is sixth shift all the symbols shift all the symbols into to nominator shift all the symbols to nominator these are the six rules of dimensions first of all i define dimension that what dimension is dimension is the splitting of a base quantity into of a derived quantity into base quantities second i mentioned the rules there are six rules to complete to get the dimension of a physical quantity and now let me share some examples and after that some important points so dear students examples of dimensions are let me define two example let me verify two examples first of all i want to find the dimension of force and here i want to find the dimension of voltage let me find the dimension of force and the dimension of voltage keep it in your mind force is a derived quantity and voltage is also a derived quantity and finding their dimension means that we are converting we are splitting these two derived quantities into their into their respective base quantities okay let me start the first step was square brackets so i closed i put force in the square brackets first step fulfilled the second step i have to use the equation and let me use the simple equation of force f is equal to ma the third step was the third step was i have to convert the quantities on the right side into their units and mass unit is kilogram and acceleration unit is meter per second square the third the fourth rule the next rule the next rule was that i have to convert all the units into base units but uh, but here i got all the units as base units kilogram is a base unit meter is a base unit and second is a base unit so no need to convert the units into base units they are already in base form so the next step will be force dimension force dimension is equal to kilogram will be replaced by capital m mass respect to symbols meter will be replaced by l and second will be replaced by t and it is t squared the last step of dimension was we have to shift all the symbols to nominator so we have to shift t square to nominator and hence the dimension of force will become m l t minus 2 m l t minus 2 is the required dimensions so look at the equation look at the dimensions of the end why it is the dimension of force it is actually force is derived do you know force is a derived quantity but mass is a base length is a base time is a base and hence it is clear that finding dimension means the splitting of a derived quantity into base quantities the splitting of a derived quantity into base quantities now let me find the dimensions of voltage so there we were first step was that i have to put voltage symbol in square brackets and i did that let me find the dimensions of voltage the second step is i have to use an equation of voltage voltage has many equations but i have to use a simple one and that is voltage is work per unit charge work per unit charge next step was i have to convert the quantities on right side into units and the dimensions of voltage will become like this the unit of work is joule while the unit of charge is coulomb the unit of charge is coulomb but i have to convert these into base units for splitting the so voltage dimension is equal to joule is equal to newton into meter and coulomb is equal to ampere into second everyone knows joule is equal to newton meter and coulomb is equal to ampere into second 
furthermore newton has to be split it so the next step is voltage dimensions is equal to meter divided by ampere second already here and the split it form of the factors form of newton is kg meter per second square now just simplify and you will get the dimension of voltage the dimension of voltage is equal to kg and meter into meter meter square and ampere second square into second second cube so ampere second cube now the next step is we have to convert the units into corresponding samples of base quantities so voltage dimension is equal to kg will be replaced by capital m meter will be replaced by capital l ampere stands for ampere and second will be replaced by t and q the last step is convert all the samples into nominator and i am going to convert i am going to shift to m l square a minus 1 t minus 3 and hence it is the dimension of voltage just look at the final result voltage is a derived quantity but on the right side called dimension of voltage actually represent the list of base quantities into which a, a voltage can be split it voltage is split it into corresponding base quantities and this is called dimensions dimensions definition clear rules clear examples clear let me share few important factors of dimensions <coughs> there viewers some important factors of dimensions we have some important factors of dimensions and let me share the first one the first important factor that the dimension of the dimensions of a correct equation the dimensions of a correct equation must be same on right side a as well as left side of the equation this fact is called principle of homogeneity it is called principle of homogeneity and it means that if a, if an equation is correct then the dimensions on the left side must be similar and same as that of the dimension on the right side for each and every correct formula the dimensions on left side must be equal to right right for example for example we know that s is equal to vt it is a correct equation everyone knows so find the dimension on both sides you will find the dimension on left and right side are same displacement unit is meter and velocity unit is meter per second time unit is second 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 cancelled so meter represent l and meter represent l so the dimension on left and right side are same it means that for correct equation the dimension on left and right side will be same the next important factor about dimensions the next important factor about dimension is the second important factor and that is dimensionally dimensionally correct equation only dimensionally correct equation only if an equation is only dimensionally correct what it means it means that only the dimension on left and right side are same but the values are are not similar are not same are not equal if an equation possesses for example if i say that 1 km is equal to 1000 m so it is not only dimensionally correct it is correct it is correct equation it is a correct equation because 1 kilo represents 1000 and right side also possess 1000 meter means l and meter means l so the dimension on left side are same and the values on left and right side are same so it is a correct equation but if i say that 1 kilometer is equal to 5000 meter so it's not a correct equation it's actually a wrong equation it's actually a 
you know, it's a wrong equation dear students, yeah, it's wrong. But we can say that this equation is dimensionally correct. It is dimensionally correct only. It is dimensionally correct only dear students because one kilometer represents, one kilo represents thousand. Left side value is thousand. But the right side value is 5000. And if values on left is not equal to the values on right, then the equation is not correct. Definitely it will be wrong. But meter represents L and meter represents L. The dimension on left is equal to the dimension on right. So, there are two forms of equations. The first one, correct equation. Correct equation will possess values on left and right same and dimensions on left and right same. But dimensionally correct equation will only possess the similarity of dimensions on left and right side but values will not be same next point and the last point for today's lecture my dear students and dear viewers the last point i want to share about dimension is the third point and that is in an equation in an equation the dimensions of all terms the dimensions of all terms must be same. Must be same. What it means? Let me explain it symbolically as well as by an example. For example, we have an equation x plus y is equal to z. So it is an equation. And x, y and z are the three terms. So if it is a correct equation, then the dimensions of x will be equal to the dimensions of y and will be equal to the dimensions of z. Each and every term dimension in an equation must be same. And let me put an example. For example, agar, uh, if we say that we now that s is equal to v i t plus half a t square. So it is a well defined equation of motion, uniformly accelerated motion. First term, second term, and third term. Find the dimension of each term, please. So, displacement dimension is L, meter. The unit of displacement is meter, and meter represents L. VIT means meter per second into second. Second, second cancel, and dimension will be L. And half AT square means meter per second square, or T square means that second square. Second square, second square cancel and meter will give you L. So look at the given equation. Each and every term possesses the dimensions L. So it means that in a correct equation, the dimension of each and every term will be same and similar. Thank you very much dear students while watching me. I will be there. Inshallah, I will try my best to explore the physics simply, easily and make it possible for you to learn. Thank you very much. Keep watching. Share it, please. I will be there for you and you have to be there for me. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.